Okay. Let's get into it. Today, I will be reviewing the uh, Louisiana Supreme Original Chicken Wing Sauce. And let's get into it. Okay. So, basically, from what, what I've uh, checked out with this, with this sauce, here in my notes, I see that it has a decent consistency and that it is spicy. So, first off, I'm go before uh, we get too deep into this, I want to start this off by saying we have uh, these chicken wings, okay? And I let the chicken wings marinate in my fridge all morning. Ah, here in my notes also, I put, uh, well, it's not in my notes, but I remember this. I said, I hope you guys had a better weekend than me. Psych. I thought that it was pretty cool that uh, Gronkowski did all that with the, with Brady. He, he had the pass game on point and everything else. And we, we, we did see that my weekend was pretty cool. It was pretty dope. The Patriots win. And I was like, that was pretty cool. Anyway, skirt, skirt. This is not a sports sports. And, you know, it was it was cool. I, I hope you guys have a good weekend also. But anyway, <clears throat> next in my notes, grill temperature must be hot. The reason why I said that was because... First off, the uh, the the meat. Even even though we're doing wings right now, I felt like um, you know you need you need to have like a nice temperature for your grill because the marinade is supposed to be forgiving. It's supposed to be forgiving, okay? And in order for it to be forgiving, with these little pieces of chicken and everything, you need. You need to have like a good temperature on your grill. Also, I have here, have a little tray to throw your chicken out of the bag. That's because, you know, you, 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 uh, you want to basically keep everything nice and clean. I was like, you know, if you keep everything nice and clean, then you aren't going to have to basically sit there and, and explain yourself. I don't want to explain myself. Especially not on on a on a review like this. I was like, come on, man. You know, it's it's more in terms of like, you know, how 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 will this leave me? How how will this leave me feeling about the uh, the product that I have invested in to make my food taste awesome? You see my point? Anyway. <clears throat> Back to, to the wing sauce review. It has a spicy taste, like uh, something limey and spicy. The reason why I first off, first off, the reason why I put limey in there, I was like, it's, it's got a, uh, it's got like, uh, acidity, acidity, but it's not, it's not something where you're going to be like, oh, it's acidity. Anyway. And I've got I've got tons of these notes. I've got tons of bullets. So basically, let me let me just keep going down my down my list. Okay. <clears throat> I like I like where I put this one right here. Another another point that I put in my notes was that I was headed back to the grill to baste marinated chicken to give it substance. The reason why why I why I did the baste was because basically I was like, all right, this chicken's been sitting here for a good little while in the bag and 
you know, you basically I want I wanted to to leave it with like a glaze, like a glaze of flavor. But, you know, and the the notes, the notes are just going on and on and on and on and on. Matter of fact, the notes, the notes go on for so long that I'm just skipping the page two right now, just so that we can get right to the, to the, to the next thing. All right. Page two. Second point of interest. Heat signature wings. Remember the wings. Now. This this was this was this was definitely a point of interest. I felt like this was a point of interest was the the fact that um you know I I've I threw the meat on the grill. We had a lot of inclement weather and everything else. I was like, man, this kind of stinks. The fact that, that uh the weather is rainy, like I was like the weather kind of stinks down here. Whatever, but basically Remember, remember exactly what what your intention of grilling is in the first place. Basically, you have you have a, a cut of meat, or if not a cut of meat, you know, you have you have something on your grill. Make sure that you pay attention to what's on your grill in the first place, so that you can figure out, you know, sort of sort of where you want where you want that level to be at. And let's see. After I said that, it says definitely spicier than a Dorito chip. <clears throat> Emphasis placed on spicy, not salty. If I were to put an emphasis anywhere, the meat was still juicy, not too hot. And also, it had the classic buffalo wing flavor that makes eating chicken and watching sports a habitual pastime for, quote, the homie, unquote. I don't think that I should skip back over here to this page. I think that basically if, uh, if we were to sit here and think, think all of this over for a good little while, We'd, we'd pick up on, on a, a few of these small details that I've tried to leave you guys with these small details. But it's, uh, you know, it's not up to me to, to say, oh, I had a good time. I hope you have a good time with, with, uh, with these grill reviews and everything else, you know. It's just you guys are going to enjoy what you enjoy and... I hope that I hope that my reviews add something in terms of uh you know well this is how I figured this would be and to put to put a uh out of 10 review out there I felt like um this sauce would be maybe I I I I felt like it should be a 9 out of 10 in the meat would be an eight out of ten, you know. I felt like that that seemed to me like somewhat somewhat fair fair review. Like that seems like a fair review to me. <clears throat>